have 15 messages. Message 1. Uh, uh, hello? This is, uh, Coco. I wanted to thank you for lending me your, uh, umbrella last night. I thought I'd come by and drop it off at your place since I'm off today and won't be seeing you at work. But then I remembered you're at work. Uh, I guess I'll be giving it to you tomorrow. Message 2. Hello, Mr. Concept. I'm calling about that, uh, design idea you wanted me to work on. I had this idea, and if it's okay with you, I, I wanted to... I'm sorry, I should have been... Message three. Uh, hello. Mr. C I mean, overall, I'm working on being more casual, I promise. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little nervous. You're such a talented designer, and I'm just a replacement, and, uh, I'm sorry, I went off topic. I just wanted to confirm our meeting at Jasmine's Cafe tomorrow. I can't wait to hear your new idea for the next production. I'm sure it'll be amazing. See you there! Message 4 Hello, overall. I... I didn't get a chance to ask you this backstage because I... You didn't have to give me all that credit. Part of the reason everything went as well as it did tonight was because you noticed the tear and hurried the costume backstage. I just did a simple mend. It was you who saved the night. I didn't deserve the attention from that, and I'm going to tell them tomorrow. Please don't stop me. Message five. Message six. Hi, overall. I wanted to let you know I had a great time tonight. I've never felt so relaxed with any pony. Sorry I ran off when you walked me to the door. I just... This is going to sound silly, but I, uh... I thought you wanted to kiss me, and I, uh... Panicked. I'm sure you'll hear this when you get home, so, uh, good night! Message 7 Hi, Ovi! I had the greatest day off today! I couldn't wait for you to get home to tell you! You know how I've been working on selling my designs to Prim and Posh? Well, they were accepted! I can't wait to see ponies wearing my designs that are all mine, and I will have my name on it. It's one step closer to my dream. Well, I'll save the rest for when you get home. Love you! Message 8 Hey, Ovi. I, uh, I know I've been avoiding you for a bit. For a few days. And I know I have to answer this at some point. But are you sure you want to live with me? I don't. Am I? I'm done! Message 9. I don't know why I'm doing this. You're not there. You'll never hear this. I just wish I knew why. Phoenix and his other lawyer friend. 
I know they're right. It's not my fault. You know there's so much more. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this. Message 10. It's... me again. I don't know why it's so much easier to talk to you through a machine, or why I'd feel better talking to... well... a ghost. If only... I already said it's normal for a pony to be like this. To fall back into... routines. So I thought I'd keep calling you. Today was better. Playwright has been so much nicer since the trial. It's like he's a new pony. He seems so much happier, too. Every pony's been trying their best not to show it. But I know I have big shoes to fill. And I will fill them. Because I know you believe in me. Believed. But I'm going to carry that on. I promise. Message 11. Peyote! You won't believe the night I had! There was a major costume failure right on stage! She handled it so well. But then it was up to me to deal with it when she was off stage! I was terrifying to fix it with so little time, but I did it! I just imagined your big, goofy smile and your gentle eyes looking on me. In that moment, I guess you're still there, watching over all of us. Message 12. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You won't believe this, Ovi. Prim and Posh called me today, wanting to commission designs for their spring lineup. Me. They want me. I. I don't know if I really deserve this. I don't think I ever told you, but. You were one of the first poems to make me feel like I mattered. After all those years under Surrey, I didn't think any pony would ever care about little Wallflower of a Mare, Coco. But here I am. Costume hero and future designer for Prim and Posh. I... I wish I could share it with you. Message 13. Sorry I haven't called you in a while. I finally got out of my shell and made some friends. From the theater and other designers of Prim and Posh. They've been pulling me around the city to lunches, performances, and other activities. It's so new and strange and scary, but fun and exciting, and I want more. After some rest, I'm just... I'm so tired. Message 14. I almost forgot to call. Between work, friends, needing time to just relax with a book or a needle, I... I'm sorry. Message 15. This will be my last message to you, Ovi. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I need to move forward now. I can't keep calling you, then go about my day like what happened is behind me. You're gone. And while this helped out at first, it's time I live my life. I will always love you. I will never forget all you've done and all the moments we've had. But even you can agree. 
the curtains need to fall sometime. If I'm ever to love again, to be the Mary you believed I could be, I need to let go. So this is it. It time to take our final bow. Bye. Overall. <gasps> There are no new messages.